The SNAP wound care system is an advanced therapy with proven clinical benefits of negative pressure. This system is indicated for the treatment of chronic and acute wounds and promotes faster wound healing than standard modern dressings and is reimbursed in wound care centers. This instructional video will demonstrate the application of the SNAP bridge dressing on a plantar diabetic foot ulcer. It will also demonstrate two different offloading devices that may be used with the SNAP system. This patient has a diabetic foot ulcer of the fourth metatarsal head on the plantar aspect of his foot. Prepare the wound bed and peri-wound skin per institutional protocol. If necessary, apply a skin protectant to the surrounding skin. Cut the blue foam to fit the size and shape of the wound. Since this patient's wound is on the plantar surface of the foot, the snap bridge dressing is used to minimize that chance of additional pressure points. The best orientation of the dressing is determined so that the bridge portion of the dressing will lie flat on the extremity and the port is located on a non-weight-bearing surface. The dressing may be cut to fit the specific anatomic location of the wound. Use of the Secure Ring Hydrocolloid is recommended on wounds in challenging locations, as it is designed to simplify dressing applications. The Secure Ring Hydrocolloid can be stretched to the size of the wound or rolled into a strip and placed around the wound edge. To begin application of the SNAP wound care dressing, slowly peel away the center release liner. The foam can be placed in the wound or may be placed over the hole on the dressing. Carefully apply the SNAP dressing over the wound. Ensure that the diamond mark on the bridge section is placed over the foam interface. Use your hands to smooth out the hydrocolloid dressing onto the skin and remove any small creases. Next. Remove the side release liners one at a time and carefully press the rest of the hydrocolloid dressing to the skin. The dressing can be cut or darted as needed to allow it to lay flat. Again, use your hands to smooth out the dressing to ensure an airtight bond to the skin. It is often helpful to hold your warm hands over the dressing to ensure the adhesive properly adheres to the skin. Once the dressing is in place, Cut the tubing to the desired length. Fully insert the tube fitting into the tubing. Connect the snap cartridge to the tube fitting. To activate the cartridge, remove the activation key by pressing the tabs on the sides of the key and pulling. With the bridge dressing, the cartridge may need to be reset and reactivated several times to remove excess air from the dressing. The green visual indicator should remain stationary to verify that there are no air leaks and excess air is removed from the system. The patient is now ready for application of appropriate offloading. When using the snap bridge dressing with a removable cast walker, route the port and tubing of the bridge dressing between the securing straps of the walker. The snap cartridge can be secured to the outside of the walker with a snap strap. The snap system can also be used with a total contact cast. Care should be taken to route the tubing and port to the outside of the cast during casting. The snap cartridge can be secured to the outside of the cast with a snap strap. As an alternative, for patients who cannot tolerate total contact casting, the Bell Soft Total Contact Cast may be used. This or similar soft offloading applications can be used with a snap system but care should be taken to route the tubing and port to the outside of the wrap to prevent potential areas of tube compression and skin pressure.